Hi guys, welcome to another Creative Tap tutorial. Um, inside this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, curve text in Adobe Illustrator. So all I've done is I've created this text layer um, simply by getting our text tool from on the left by here, typing in how to curve text in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so you can obviously you can highlight it. Let's undo that. You can highlight it, <clears throat> make it a little bit bigger, play around with the look of it with the character panel up here. I'm just going to move mine into the middle and now I'll show you how to curve it now that we've typed it. So all you want to do is just select your text layer, come to Effect, then go to Warp and click Arc. And if you turn your preview on, you can see that we've got um, some curved text. Now you can alter how much that bend is affecting it just with this when you've got preview on um, then you can click vertical so it does it across um, just like that so it looks like it's possibly coming out of a megaphone uh, if you had a megaphone were there but you know um, yeah you can go with different looks and then you've got these extra distortion options by here so it gives you that and then this one sort of just play around and see what you kind of get um, I'm going to zero these out <clears throat> And you can click OK once you've done that, but I'm just going to show you the other options in here. Um, if we go into this list, we've got Arc Lower, so we'll just do the lower bit. And we've got Arc Upper, so we'll just do the upper half of the text. Um, then let's have a look. Arch, so it's, this is similar to the Arc, but each of the letters with Arch are still facing directly up, whereas with Arc, they sort of curve outwards perpendicular to the line. Um, <clears throat> Then you've got bulge, which you you know you can see pretty much what it does. Um, Self-explanatory. You've got these extra options then, um, but you know have a play around. I'm gonna zero these out. Have a play around. We've got um, shell lower, shell upper. So you can kind of see what's going on. Um, flag. So we got them waving like that. Uh, wave. Similar, but just. Um, it's cutting off there actually, I didn't realise that happened. Um, so yeah, you change it to vertical as well, see what, see what it does, but it can give you pretty crazy stuff, crazy results sometimes. You know, just put that to minus one. That's nice, it looks like it's possibly underwater a bit. Maybe let's change it to minus two. Yeah, looks like it's possibly underwater or behind a heat source. Um, let's go to fish, so you can see Ah, it's got a horizontal, so you can see it basically puts it into a fish shape. Um, then you've got rise, so the letters are kind of like rising. Okay, uh, you've got fish eye. Obviously, you can have a play around with all these yourself. Fish eye, inflate, similar one, just goes out of the sides there. And squeeze, I guess squeezed in. Um, but yeah, this is how you kind of distort your text. So um, then you've got twist. Which if you push that up, I'm sure it'll look crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how you, how you um, curve your text with this arc up the top. So change it to horizontal, and there you go. Um, so this was a very short tutorial, but I, I hope you did um, pick something up and learn something. And cheers for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers, bye.